Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Just a quick VIP update. We are now offering new adult beverages at our concessions. If you're looking for With it in theaters and Halloween around the corner, a lot of people are gonna be doing the scary clown Pennywise look this year, which is why I called up my friend Allison Sharp, who's a makeup artist, who's gonna show me how to do it with all the stuff you find in a Halloween store. All right, so to do the Pennywise look properly, what do we gotta do first? So step one, contacts. Okay. Uh, we want to get them in quick so makeup okay. doesn't get in your eyes. Gotcha, and, and these are like the ones you could just buy at a normal Halloween store, You can store, get right? them at a Halloween store, they're creepy and bright, and you're gonna look insane. Wow. Weird. All right, so contacts are in. Looks Feels a little great. weird. Feels a little weird, I gotta say. But what's what's the next step? Next step is gonna be our wig. So this is like a basic, what, like a mad scientist? Mad scientist with okay. a fake forehead, so it goes all the way back. And then get an, like a nice orange spray and cool. uh, spray the wig down. And then you've got uh, your Pennywise color. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Cool. So let's try it on you. Okay. So we're just gonna go around the perimeter of the wig. Spirit gum. Hold on, is it, is it supposed to burn like that? Not funny. No? Makeup artist jokes, never gets old. Latex, layer of latex, and then glued pieces of tissue down, and then it gives it this beautiful prickly texture. You can get liquid latex from your Halloween store as well to blend this edge into your forehead. So this is the part that might be the most time consuming out of the whole thing is the latex because you're gonna to wanna to blow dry it in between layers as well. Next, we're gonna start painting. Um, you can get a nice clown white face paint from your Halloween store as well. You feel free to use sponges or a brush. You can get also brushes from a dollar store or a paint store. If something bigger is better. You want to be able to cover a lot of the face quickly. Mondays. Am I right? Oh my god. It's stuck in a box. Get that sponge nice and yeah. saturated with your black shadow. Mm. And then you're gonna look all the way up. And then we're gonna go on the top and make it nice and smoky on top, so I'll get you to close your eyes. And just use a nice kind of dense fluffy brush. Just go in and smudge it right all over the eyelids. So next we're going to do the red. If you have a face paint palette such as this, you can definitely use the red out of it or steal someone's lipstick, which also works. Draw a straight line across. Are you feeling like Pennywise yet? Starting to feel evil. Now I need to put this Pennywise costume to the test. So what I've done is I've set up a little Halloween prank with our VIP pre-show host, Bridget. Now we told her that she has to come in to do a quick little shoot for the show, but what she doesn't know is the whole thing's fake. We've given her a fake script and we're all just here to scare her. So while she's filming, I'm gonna sneak up behind her and uh, well, we're gonna find out if she's afraid of clowns. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Just a quick VIP update. We are now offering new adult beverages at our concessions. If you're looking for- <laughs> Happy Halloween. Oh my God. Who is this? Is that Tanner? <laughs> oh, good. Tanner, thanks for freaking me out. No problem. <laughs> was not expecting that. I was not expecting this. You got lipstick right here, by the way. Oh, I do? Yeah, oh. lipstick right here. On the other side, too. Oh. Nice. Well, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.